Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Now we are talking about a computer system. Initially, let us define what is a computer is. A computer is an electronic device which accepts the data, information, process it, and produce the result. Initially, a computer was uh, invented on the basis of calculator. Yeah, people, when, when they, cal they invented the calculator, at the same time, the computer was also invented. Initially, the computer was uh, invented uh, for multiplication, for addition, specific purpose. But later on, uh, the technology has changed. Now you can see 80% of the job done by the computer is for non-mathematical or non-numerical systems. Whereas 20% is done only for the, uh, the, the mathematics job. Now, how can we uh, understand uh, more about the computer? Computer is a combination of hardware and software. People generally say it constitutes a complete uh, system. Now what is the hardware and what is the software? Hardware is something, the components which are attached or assembled together, which generally they cooperate with each other to perform the job given by the user. Software is the thing which makes the hardware to run or to function. Now let us see uh, what is CPU is meant meant for. Basically, you should understand before you go for CPU, what is input, what is uh, uh, any system, processing of data, and then output. Input is something through which you feed the, the information or the instructions to the computer. That is called as input or input devices. Output means through which you will be receiving the, 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 uh, the information processed by the computer in the form of uh, result. That is called either output or through which you get the output is called as output device. Now, when you talk about CPU, it, it looks very simple. CPU stands for uh, uh, Central Processing Unit, even though the name is very small, but it has everything in it. For example, when you open the CPU, you see initially the motherboard. And what is the motherboard? Motherboard is the main circuit board, you call it as a, as, as a motherboard, okay. It hosts computer's ex uh, expansion slots, okay, and the slots for the RAM, CPU here, the one which I'm showing it to you now, this is your CPU, which is the main part of the computer, okay, which, which the motherboard hosts, and also it has uh, the data bus, or the data communication bus where the data is transferred or the instructions are transferred between the, the, the components here. Now, how this motherboard is uh, fixed in the computer, as you can see this is uh, the main CPU. In some computers the motherboards are fixed uh, uh, horizontally or uh, in some computers the motherboards are, are hanged as, as a vertical position depending upon what uh, size of the CPU you are using on the desktop. Now, when you talk about more about like this, my, my, uh, my microprocessor, or I call it a CPU in general, so that people uh, know the name as a CPU. Microprocessor is a technical name. It's a technical name of CPU. Basically, this is your CPU. If you, if you can see this. It hosts three parts. What are those uh, parts? Number one, control unit. Number two, arithmetic and logical unit number three registers what is its function basically this is the one which is solving all your problems in other words whatever the job given to the computer is done by CPU what is control unit control unit stands for you know, basically it is uh, it, it makes the, the, the operations given to the computer in sequence it is someone who is controlling your, your, your job given to the computer. That is called as a control unit. Arithmetic and logical unit will perform all the, all the arithmetic and logical operations given by the user to the computer. That unit will take care of it. Now what is a register? A register is a place where the, the calculations are done for CU, sorry, ALU, and the instructions which are flowing in between for, for CU. In other words, I can define a register in this case. A register is an essential storage location for CU and ALU. Now, when you talk about the register, you should also talk about its size. 
The larger the register size, the more the instructions it can do at the same time. It can store the instructions at the same time. Remember, again, register is a location to store the essential information for control unit and arithmetic and logical unit. While the computer is performing the job, it requires little space to do the job. So that space is provided by the register. Okay. Coming back to this motherboard, you can, you can see that I'm using now, this is called as a, a, a RAM unit, you know, which I can fix it on to the, to the motherboard, in, in, in this case like this. Okay. Or, I can make use of any additional, any additional card to be attached into the motherboard. This is called your expansion slot. I'm talking about the expansion slot. Sometimes it happens that I have a big card size. Okay, so then in that case, I can make use of the other slots uh, listed there. Now, how can I how can I see that the hard disk is attached to the motherboard? Then what is a hard disk? Hard disk is a secondary storage devices. When you talk about the secondary storage devices, the the data stored in your computer permanently. That is called as a secondary storage device. How these are fixed? It looks as if it's very big in size, but the motherboard cannot contain that on it. So computer with we use something called as a cable through which I can attach my my uh, hard disk to the computer like this okay remember all this any component which you bring and you want to use it it must be attached either directly or indirectly to the motherboard otherwise that component will not you might have seen people nowadays you are using flash disks or flash drives really, as they call if they want to use it you can see that you cannot directly attach to the motherboard so in those cases there are special ports used they call it as USB port universal serial bus and you can you can add any any device to it now almost all the components now they are all USB like cameras or flash disks or printers you can attach any any device nowadays in the new technology allowed until unless they are attached to the motherboard now let us go for uh, uh, some of the other items listed here like this is also a hardware component called as a floppy disk drive floppy disk drive okay now this floppy disk drive again you may have to use a, a cable to use it you can, in this way we can make use of every component and unless they are attached to the motherboard. I hope you have understood briefly about the hardware devices. Thank you very much.